Mr. The Creations. We have a special guest today on today's episode. And uh, yeah, you probably see a lot of things have changed because we concept and then creating always. Um, this episode is going to be a lot about 3D stuff, um, a lot about Cinema 4D in general. And yeah, we might start talking about more programs and whatnot. But that um, I, I'm gonna bring. Uh, I'm excited to bring on a, an amazing 3D artist, um, renderer, modeler. Even came out with his own lights, <laughs> shining. His name's Don. What's up, Don? How you doing, man? Hey, man. How's it going? Oh, you can see this screenshot right there of uh, something that he's working on. Something top secret, so y'all can't know nothing about it. Uh, yeah, that's all you're gonna see today. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. I, I'm gonna start by showing his demo reel and stuff. I was this show was freestyle. It was one the way now. Um, he does a lot of work in Cinema 4D, um, Photoshop, obviously After Effects. You can't do nothing without Photoshop these days. You all need to know that. Y'all gotta learn Photoshop for sure. Illustrator is a, a very good advantage too, especially with local design, typography, kind of booklet stuff. Um, but first, um, overall, let's just show some of his work. This is the type of work people like to call speed artwork. It's really just literally making something, recording it, and doing it in fast right, motion. Now, um, let's go uh, do one quick other uh, speed art. I know you guys got to appreciate some Legend of Zelda out there. I mean, why wouldn't you? Literally, as it's happening, get to see the creation of this. Amazing. And the music to match. Oh, 
That's awesome stuff, man. Then that's just the beginning. That's like a little piece of iceberg right there. Um, and that's some some of Don's stuff. He works in Cinema 4D. Uh, he works, like I said, uh, programs like that. And I've been teaching you guys some Cinema 4D stuff. It's really not hard. Wrap your head around it a little bit. It doesn't take too much, too long. And like I mentioned it before once in an episode, I, I've I've always wanted to do it. I've always wanted to do some motion graph. Uh, I mean, I've always did motion graphic, but I always wanted to really get into 3D and something. I was I tried my I just couldn't wrap my head around it. I don't know if this is uh, um, how you did anything with the Don either, but uh, Minecraft <laughs> two block blockhead things like oh I could do that. So I just jumped in and tried to do that, which wasn't hard. And I said, well, I could probably do that. Do this. And then just kept going, and then I seen the potential of how I can make my motion graphics so much better by using 3D components. Um, what got you into 3D? Dizzle, Don, Dizzle? Uh, um, dude, it's a long ass story, but basically, um, one of the things that got me started was, you know, uh, just after I left school, I, uh, I had a lot of free time. And uh, I was always watching videos on YouTube, mainly to do with gaming. And I always see these people making these like uh, 3D flashy ass graphics as their intros, you know. So I started like my own little channel, uh, posting some gaming videos. And um, you know, I wanted to create my own intro at the beginning, and uh, that's what started me, uh, you know, uh, sort of get me interested in this kind of stuff. And uh, it just kind of went on from there, and uh, eventually it's it's what I do on a daily basis now. So yeah, he's got a channel. He has a bunch of videos. You can check out his channel. It's um it's a YouTube channel, Digital Universe. I got a link somewhere. You know, I can't find links. Why would I want to find? Be able to find? Oh yeah, oh my God, he does amazing work <laughs> for real. But um uh, yeah, you can check it out at uh. He has two websites. He's got a bunch of websites. His website galore, man. Um, and that's I Digital Universe. And he also has this like kit. We'll talk more about this a little later in the show, though. We don't want to just like throw all of it at you at once. Like, but we could. I mean, throw it at you, hit you in the head. And it's gonna hurt. So yeah, me too. Uh, in general, um, I wanted to do this and everything else that entailed. I wanted to do that myself instead of paper. like uh, a rat. Freestyle, I'm freestyle since eight, um, for third, third grade. I want to make albums. Well, I gotta learn how to record. I'm gonna do. It. I want. To, I need to make uh, music videos. I'm gonna figure it out for myself. Um, I mean, it takes time. You, you can't just jump into it and think you know how to do everything. You gotta practice. And you know what? This day and age with YouTube, that's college right there. I mean, I learned so much. I learned so much from Don. Don, I learned a lot of stuff from you, man. And uh Oh really? Yeah, dude, that, that Xbox tutorial that you did, that right there alone uh, taught me so much about modeling. Ah, dude, that was a long ass time ago. <laughs> hey, it don't matter how long ago it was, I really appreciate it. <laughs> and it was cool. Yeah. It was crap. And I know I have yeah, that's that great dude. Glad to help. Dude, I'm glad too. I'm glad you helped. Cause I needed it. Cause I, I mean, honestly, I was on, I was uh, black in the darkness, <laughs> and uh, using trying to figure out Maya and trying to figure out uh, 3D Studio Max since I couldn't really get a grip on Maya, and then finally uh, I seen your tutorials playing Minecraft. I I think I even got you to jump on one of my Minecraft servers before. Um, I think yeah, I yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you still got those? Uh, I still got the maps, but I don't have the server. Ah. But uh. Yeah, I, you should definitely run that sometime. Oh, I mean, I could run it from home. Yeah. I could do it. And, uh, now there's we've we even done this little show together, but I I really like to show that dang Xbox controller. That thing was freaking awesome. And. Are you gonna grab a link for you? Oh no, I got that right here in my hand. I'm about to throw it out in the internet. <laughs> oh, it's not quite in my hand. Funny thing about that video, I actually stole the soundtrack from another video. So, I'm probably going to get my ass sued. Oh, no. But, you know, the soundtrack was so awesome, I just had to steal it. <laughs> I've seen you make it. You made that thing. That thing was cool. Oh yeah, I'd, I'd love to show you some of uh, some new stuff that I've been making. You might dig it. I think I don't know. We'll see. But uh, just, I mean, this right here, this dang Xbox controller. Play you old Xbox controller, you. And if you don't, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, I see you didn't. All right. Uh, do you want me to introduce? Hell yeah. <laughs> introduce. Now that, I can't wait to get to that, because that's some other stuff that he does that's very valuable to you guys out there. Okay, come on now. By the way, I just want to mention, I'm using Expeditor. Let's show, let's show this. This is me Yo, and Don doing the show. This with is Don, friend. and welcome to the first episode of Not Enough Blurs. And today with yeah, me, I have Smoke B. and Mirrors. Please. And uh, he's going to be joining me today, and uh, we have got a lot of cool stuff planned for you guys. Like you. And uh, something new, I have not quite done a live stream. Yeah, this is the other thing we did. Uh, you know, there was a lot of back. Huh? We actually went into this, and I uh, gotta say ago. thanks to Lee really? for doing that because I too much like it was really had no idea. But you know, Lee has been doing live streams for how long now? Like yeah. couple ever. years at least. Forever, ever. Yeah, actually, I, this 337 TV that y'all watching this box in, unless y'all watching on Ustream, I've been doing it for at least two years. I was on the Tom Green show Man, because of doing it. this. Uh, but the damn Xbox controller. Oh my. Dude, hey guys, up. what's up? This is. What's up, Don? <laughs> Like I know. Where I really need to spice up my friggin' intro. It's the same every time. Oh no! Oh, you know what? It's, it's good. Repetitive. It's catchy. People remember. People remember. And they, they say. Oh, well, what's up, guys? Oh, and this is another cool one. Though. It's like uh, that video game thing. And you, he gives away free resources, downloads, and whatnot. And if I ever find that Xbox controller, I'm taking. It. Where's it at? Where's this video at? Come on. Watch it just, just don't want to play ball. That's when you use the old school style of, of using this stuff. And hey guys, what's up? This is Don and welcome. Yeah, you had it a second ago. I had the soundtrack. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to just go ahead and screen share it. I'm straight from the underground. Try that. Yeah, I, ha I have Oh, it. snap. That's not it. That's not it. The one you got is the right one. Yeah, okay. Cool. Check this out, you guys. Maybe lucky amount of you will get that exact model to make the button press and all. Actually, that's, I did that to the model. Uh, I did some espresso to have the buttons with pressing it on and all that stuff, but just some, you know, espresso. When's it come out? I want to get that one. When's that come out? That's uh, the I want that for real. It, maybe maybe blue. I'll take it in blue. Ah <laughs> cool. uh, damn, that would be a super controller. But unfortunately, it is completely fictional. Yeah, but you know what? That's how all the children kind of start. Really, in general, um, just a mock up and okay. Well, let's see if we can make it. Um, now I want to stop for a second and say that um, Hangout Networks. This is we're part of Hangout Networks. You seen Don's link? Networks. 
shows, a lot of creative shows, a lot of music stuff, a lot of cooking shows. Like this dude takes his finger, dips it in some pastels, and you wouldn't believe the stuff that comes out. I mean, I could, I could really just go ahead and show you the kind of stuff that comes out. He does amazing things. Um, and I got the, uh, well, I'm not gonna say I got the privilege, but I made his website for him. And stuff that he he created just with his finger. Like, you know that. It's almost speed art type stuff, and he's um, you can see the picture on the side of it, and yeah, you can go check him out at fingercreations.com, but you can also check out the show on hangoutnetworks.com, the only place where everybody's hanging out in this network, but we teaching each other something. Hangout collab, that's one of my shows. That shows uh, uh music, um, people, musicians. We teach music. In the authors, we got um, people teaching you how to get that book written down, get those words out your head, and give them to other people. Don't think you have to go to the man with a suit, because you don't, man. You don't have to. I mean, music time. You don't have to go to a man with a suit anymore. You can do it all on your own. And we even have cooking shows. This is this is the beginning. Learn to cook Caribbean. You want some Caribbean food? You want some Cajun food? Italian food? It seems a little strange. It's strange that we got all these things out there now that allows us to uh, learn and not only learn but interact with each other while we're learning. And that's the best part about it. And it's all at HangoutNetworks.com. Go check that stuff out, man, for real, before someone gets killed, because I've heard of murderers out there, and I just, I'll give you all the taste, hang on networks.com, there's all kind of different stuff, oh, there's even shows, like The View, which is specifically for, you know, women that want to talk about stuff that, that you might probably want to hear as a man, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, well, you, you could watch us right now, look, we're live. I mean, look at these dudes. So, yeah, well, you, you could watch us right now. Look, we're live. Oh, no, what? And you could go to um, all the different versions shows. There's Optimizing Your Body, Hangout Collab, Learning to Cook Caribbean Japanese, Learning to Cook Italian Healthy Cooking and Southern Cooking, The G-Spot, the Authors, Art and Design Shows. We might get a Don show in there sometime soon. All right, Don, maybe. Um, we got, oh, hell yeah, Don. We got, totally. It's trivia time. Uh, tech shows, we got in the, uh, matter of fact, we have this show called um, Android Enthusiasts. Well, I'm proud to say got picked up by Android Authority, but picked up in a sense that they still are under our wing. And Android Enthusiast, uh, Android uh, Authority is, is a pretty big name, so that gives us, that gives us a, got a lot of clout, a lot of leeway on things. You know, just stuff out there that helps out, and we all helping out each other. It's familia, man, and you know, I'm just Cajun, and I don't say familia, <laughs> but I'm saying it today because you got to check it out. Hang on, networks.com. How many times I gotta say that? I don't know. Probably shouldn't have to say it, but once. You can um, chat with us. You could join the show. I was posting it up. We're on Google Plus. I see a lot of y'all chatting already. <coughs> Um, yeah, I'm sorry if y'all getting spammed or whatever. Uh, something about checking out Muscle Girls, and it's probably is spam, so spam that shit up. Um, that's at live chat at hangout dot hangoutnetworks.com. You can watch us at live dot hangoutnetworks.com. You can see it all. I mean, it's not hard. Hangout Networks, Google it. You'll see everything, link to everything you need, everything that you want. Um, now, I know y'all probably don't know me from a shit, piece of shit on a stick that somebody flung at you and almost hit you in the face and you dodged. But uh, I do stuff like kind of like this too. And um, at the end of the show, after uh, after we check out the awesomeness which is Don and pump him up to do, get his own show and everyone that wants to see more Don, and, and he, he's got tutorials. Go check his YouTube. He teaches you how to turn, make a house and explode it and have reindeer run through it with shotguns. Not really, but that's the next tour, isn't it, Don? <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I learned everything from him using Cinema 4D because uh, that's when I was first starting it. 
So go check that stuff out. But it would be really cool to have him on this network. And it, it takes you guys to ask him. Go ahead. Leave your comments. Leave anything. You could reach him through his YouTube. Say, Don, why are you not hanging out? And and just go from there. Now, uh, this is my demo reel. I work at a TV station, so yeah, there's a lot of TV station commercial stuff in it. But yeah, without further ado, you here we go. just a bunch of stuff oh, man you know I'm, I'm into the music I'm into everything really anything that you can see in here I love to do it so um. yeah that last piece with the unfolding uh, sort of uh, red tape that's really that's really cool I really, I really dig that. that oh yeah that, that was cool I learned that okay, I learned that from somebody that I not worked with exactly but uh, that's not my newest stuff uh, that was like 2011 there's uh, since we st I started uh, Hangout Networks with two other guys, um, after Hangout Collab, I've been you know making intros and intros and intros, and I would have you wouldn't have seen none of these things that you're about to see without Don. Don made these things. I don't care what y'all say, he made them. Android enthusiasts. They're all pretty short too. Ladies, watch us live at hangoutnetworks.com. The deep spot. Late night just got better. And yeah, with a lot of this stuff, I like to do my own music, my own instrument sounds. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for working perfect. Yeah. And this one, this one don't have me sound, so on to this episode, wrong number. The topics of today's show are open mic jam and writing and recording process with Damian Lee and Russell Babbitt. And as always, you're watching Inkerclass.com. And this last one. But not least, took 40, 50 hours to render. I left for the weekend. Still ain't done. 50 like hours? 50 hours. Damn. That's a lot of hours, dog. Yeah. Fan was, it, was it worth it? Was it? I don't know. What do you think? Really? Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it because I learned from you know, I mean, if you learn from something and it doesn't, I mean, it got, it got used, but oh, working in TV, I make things that don't get used sometimes. I'm like, oh, man, I spent two days working on this and y'all killed the story? All right, well, I've learned to realize, but I figured something out I didn't know before, so I learned something, so it doesn't matter. I'm learning. Yeah, oh, as long as you get something out of it. Yeah. yeah it's all good. Give me a bag of weed, no. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty cool. So now nowadays, what um what kind of stuff are you doing? You still doing the tutorial stuff? I see you 
got some tutorial stuff up there. Ah, uh, yeah, mostly just tutorials, and I'm trying to do a lot more professional work uh, from a sort of uh, company yeah. clients, that yeah. kind of thing. That's cool. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest client that you got to work for? Um, the biggest client so far is uh, it's a skincare company called Dermalogica. Dermalogica. Yeah, uh, it wasn't directly. I didn't, you know, contact them directly. It was um, for another company I work for. They're they're like a video production company, and uh, they were making like um like a corporate advert, and uh, I had to do some of the the effects and some of the motion graphics uh, as part of that video. So that that's pretty cool. Is that online? Uh yeah, I think it is. I know. I know. I've been running to more and more stickler companies, uh, stickler clients that that I just don't want. I I understand when they want to release the video first. Yeah. Um, but like the ones that oh, oh we don't know if we want them on the internet. Well, where are you gonna put it on TV? Who's watching that? I ain't. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a viable place to advertise, but it's not as not as viable as there and the internet. Mm -hmm. I was being a hater. Okay, cool. Let's check this thing out. No, only I get to see it. For real. Yeah, you that. can take a look at that. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and show everybody. Everybody deserves this to be awesome work, man. And if you're interested in doing this kind of stuff, I mean, this dude does great job teaching you all um, just the basics to the advanced skills. No sound? Sound? Okay. No, no sound, unfortunately. <laughs> well, I guess I was on the court. That is really cool, man. I really like that. I'm backing that up. Back that ass up. I mean, really? I want I want to my brain. That is so, that's cool. And then it's now it's something kind of different. He modeled that woman. <laughs> oh, you made that? <laughs> Damn. So, motion tracking. I wish. <laughs> yeah, tracking that graphic was a pain in the ass, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. What'd you use? Uh, in the end, I think I used the uh, blue shoe. Okay, okay. Mox yeah. You know what? CS6. You can track? Oh, Better? Track? You a fucking DJ, dog. Uh, I, might, I might have to install that later. I think I just finished uh, acquiring it. Yeah, I, I, I know you both got to be able to um, afford to give you that copy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, why not? I mean, now, let's get back to the basics of Cinema What is this? It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a 3D program, but it's not a 3D program. The generic 3D CAD type people. Um, it came out. It's more recent. I don't know if Blender came out before. I mean, there's all kind of stuff now. There's I know ZBrush, all kind of different things. There's a new program every day, it seems. But it's one of the more recent that is big names still. That isn't exactly a program, but it's going. It's, it's growing to be. Yeah. Definitely. I think within the next sort of five years, they would definitely be in the mainstream pipeline. Oh yeah, Pixar is gonna be making movies. No, man, probably not. Not Pixar because they're they're vested in in Maya. Render man, come on. Now look at this render man. This is not real. This is Cinema 4D. That's some 4D. Yep, the fourth dimension. <laughs> no, I mean I want to play a song on that thing, man. Listen to how good it sounds. It's amazing. Wait, you hear it, right? That's a crazy ass render. I mean, that thing is it, so it's so good you can hear the music come out of it. <laughs> good lord. And 
That's that's what the new. That's that's. A, I'm not gonna get all technical with the versions of the program. You don't know the program you're watching the show. Like what a Cinema 4D. I don't watch a movie. And what how, what kind of glasses you gotta wear? <laughs> but uh, those that do know, y'all get with it. There's videos I'm gonna play play uh some more videos about that. You know a little later in the show. Um, but uh, I do have this really quick video that like throws down some fucking Cinema 4D. This is what Cinema 4D is in general, overall. And I hope it plays correct. So, nope. That's not it. Character rating. Simple character rating. Now, when I say simple, I don't know. Simple to some, I'm still getting my butt kicked making these characters. But it's much easier. You literally can make a model, make a move, make a dance, make a piss in his pants. Make your, make your first Pixar film within a week. Watch some tutorials. It's not that hard. Wherever your mind's at, put it where you want it, and that's where it's going to go. Mograph. I mean, literal simulation. This is how something's gonna fall. This is how light's gonna bounce off of this object, that object, this thing. Realistic, awesome stuff. Sorry, folks, did not come with the music, but it does come with clothes. Clothes. So if you're naked, you can just go ahead and wrap some clothes around you. Want to stay naked? Stay naked. Ocean. That's that's that stuff you put on during sex. You get bit by a spider. You walk around. You got walk motions. You go into town. You got all kind of robotic things around. Spiders all over the ground. Rats. Yeah. Oh shit. Look at that. How you know it is, but it's not. A dinosaur either. A student slide. That's not a beaver. Yeah. Leave it to Cleaver. Leave it to Beaver. Leave it to me. Man, I'll hit you to Cleaver and show you how the 3D just hits real hard. Now it's walking in the real world, y'all. Yep, you can incorporate. Make things look like it's there, but it ain't. I, I just, I can't get enough of this program. Uh oh. I, I just exposed myself for the man I am. <laughs> But really, um, that's not the video I was planning on showing in the first place. Um, Don deleted it from my computer. Dang it, Don. Uh, sorry about that, dude. That's cool, don't worry. That's I won't happen again. That's what the internet and Dropbox is for. Cinema 4D by Maxon. Great company, by the way. Cinema 4D is your gateway to another world and another dimension. Cinema 4D is the number one studio for looking for powerful, viable software to bring your creativity and ideas to life. Whatever you can imagine can be created in Cinema 4D. No matter how complex your idea, you can depend on Cinema 4D from the very first polygon to the final scene, Ooh, rendering, God. or animation. Can I make it look that good? If you ever wanted to dive into 3D, now is the time. 3D software in general is complex, but we at Maxon believe, and Cinema 4D proves that 3D can be mastered by almost anyone. By watching Don's videos. What you see here is renowned as the easiest to use professional 3D software. Everything you need is already integrated. You can create scenes, easily add textures and materials, add the ideal lighting, cameras, and the fast enhanced OpenGL viewport displays everything you need in real time. In the end, literally everything can be animated to meet or exceed any demands a director may have. From simple objects to the smallest parameter deep within a hierarchy. With the physical renderer, you get realistic results you never imagined could be achieved on a computer. And if you don't want realism, well, we even have tools for that. 
At Maxon, we have made it our primary goal to give artists the greatest amount of creative freedom. With software that provides the ability to work at the highest professional standards, while also being accessible to anyone from 3D beginner to high-end professional. Axon has given easy-to-use 3D software a name. Cinema 4D. That's where it be. That's amazing. I, I love that program. Don, any final words on this Cinema 4D stuff? Um, yeah, if you want to learn 3D, this is a great place to start, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, a lot of motion graphics artists actually use, uh, especially a lot of freelance uh, people, they are now switching to Cinema 4D. I, I mean, it's, uh, it's not pipelined into most studios yet, uh, simply because they're all tied into contracts with uh, companies like 3DS and uh, Autodesk, so, um, you know, but I definitely think it's going to be, uh, if not the number one, uh, definitely one of the main players. I mean, it already is right now, but uh, even more so in the near future, so I'm uh, definitely, uh, I'll definitely, um, uh, advice you get this and uh, you know check out my channel if you want to see some uh, beginner to intermediate tutorials and a few oh, yeah. advanced stuff too uh, I also do uh, some after effects so you can um, probably find a little bit about that too and uh, you can check out my website uh, motionsquared.net uh, it's relatively new so you know I'm just trying to work to put some content mm -hmm. onto that and uh, you can check out some of my products uh, namely the light kit. Um, if you're a lot of, if any of you do photography, uh, imagine uh, sort of lighting equipment in studios within the 3D program. That's uh, that's what that is. Uh, it's a tool which integrates nicely into your into your workflow, and then uh, you can pull off some pretty nice renders. Uh, you know, even if you've never used uh, Cinema yeah, 4D before. The program takes a so, lot. It's um, not just modeling something. You have to act put lights around yeah. it. It's like the world. You build a world and then you've got to take that world and make it move. Y'all need to pick this up. This is the cheapest light yeah. kit in the world. 20 bucks. And you don't know what a light kit is if you, you don't know. I mean, you will know when you start using the program. It makes, yeah. it makes stuff a lot faster and easier. And I'd like to thank Don for being part of the show. Everybody show some love to Don by going Pick up this program. You you ain't don't eat, you don't have some over I don't care. Pick it up, yo. Download it so he can get a little bit of money, yo. That he can make some more pro pro videos. And he'll teach you everything that he can know. 2.0. Yeah. See all these light styles? He made that shit. Didn't even take a while. I don't know. Roger a minute. You gonna have to tell me. How long it took you to make that, by the way? Oh, uh, a bunch of days. <laughs> I'm actually uh, developing right now uh, the next update, uh, likely three, and it's going to be a lot more comprehensive. Oh. Uh, I'm actually sort of tempted to say it might be the best light kit, yeah. and uh, definitely the best in terms of pricing. No oh, one's going to no. beat that. So. I haven't seen anything yet beat that, <laughs> that price. <laughs> It's got it's got what you need. It's got exactly what you need. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, so, uh, can you give us a little tip hint? Wh what is it going to include besides a light? Anything else? Uh, this time I've gone into a lot more sort of. I've, I try to make it more equipment oriented. So, in sort of just uh, sort of studios, there's going to be a lot more rigs for soft boxes. Uh, ring lights, you got uh, window lights, um, spotlights, and all that stuff. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, new studios too. And uh, in fact, none of the old studios will be making it into the next update because uh, I didn't think they were worthy of it. So the new ones are really, really awesome. So yeah. Ready from him. Now uh, it's going to be priced competitively. Obviously, it's going to be around the same price. Oh yeah, definitely. It'll be around twenty to thirty bucks. Uh, I'm probably looking at it sort of twenty-four, twenty-five uh, bucks. So you know, not not too bad at all. So oh, hopefully nice. that should be good. Yeah, you know what? That is a good price. That's amazing work, Don. Thank you for being on the show. 
And you know, I'm not I'm not the best, but you taught me taught me a great deal. Amazing work, Don. Sorry I didn't have to get the chance to light it and color it up for you. Ah, it's okay, dude. Thanks for having me on the show. Dude, it was my pleasure. Showing off the great work you do. I mean, I'm always showing some some cinema 4D. They're like, oh my god, wow. I'm like, nah. That ain't wow. <laughs> That's not wow. That's not yeah. wow. World of Warcraft is wow. This shit, yeah. that this dude does amazing. And ain't no game called amazing, so I can say it like that. Yeah, that was it. Everybody hit him up. Take it easy, man. Thanks for being on the show. Show right. you guys. Have, have a nice day, dude. Peace. Yeah. Take it easy. So, um, there's lots more. We got an intermission though, because you know, like sometimes, um, like I gotta get up. Alarms come on. So I'm gonna show you a few more videos, and we'll welcome Zach. What's up? Welcome to the show, Zach. How you doing? Hello. Oh, yeah. You know. So, uh, you into 3D, you into modeling, you into making stuff look cool? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to make something look cool, and maybe you can come up with the ideas of what we should make look cool in a few minutes. Until then, we were talking about Cinema 4D. This is 3D modeling. We're going to go through quite a few different things, and I'm going to show real quick uh, some things Cinema 4D can do. I was showing it earlier, but let's just push forward to a few more. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Zach, you broke it. You broke you broke it. <laughs> body simulation. We did see a few of these videos a little bit ago. But you can see oh, that, that one too, god dang it. So are you impressed, Zach, or are you just like, well I could do this stuff on my program. Oh the yeah. Pretty pretty cool stuff. Don does some really good I just want to switch to some of Don's stuff. He does some really good work. Look at that. you would call a speed art if um, I didn't mention it before. This is when you make something, record it, speed it up, make it beat hard.
He has quite a few of them. Um, he does a lot of speed arts. I do a few speed arts too. So uh, you know what? This is his old intro. Do not skip the YouTube. It'll build you a lightsaber. So that was supposed to be speed. All right. I now another great this. thing that I wanted to talk Hell about. Yeah. I want to talk about it while he was here. He does another yeah, show so with him. Another friend of mine. His name is Ali. Uh, That's today this guy. I am with my friend Ali. Uh, so yeah. I just, yeah, and uh, has a cool voice. It is. Seems to always come up uh, a lot of the time. So talking about uh, pricing and. Uh, you know, me and Ali are going to be telling you how we do our pricing and, you know, the reasons behind it, you know, this whole thing because uh, it always seems like there's a lot of people who don't agree with us when we set our prices and hopefully this video will, you know, make you come onto our side, if you know what I mean. Snip it. So you go watch his you channel. Know, he teaches you not only how to make stuff, but how to get paid the right amount of money for what you're worth. And one more video, and we're going to show you exactly how to make something using these programs. You, too, can prevent forest fires or start them, but make sure you do it on a computer. Can you tell me what this will be? piece a room the mo the room that you're gonna sleep in tonight da -da 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 -da. I love the music daddy picks on this stuff all right this is where y'all sleep in the night and if you're interested throughout all these videos that we're playing you want to know how how he did that ask away and we'll show you live. We'll even get him back in here and show you some more tricks and get how he does some things that I can't even do. Wonder how people make these rooms, these incredible rooms, pretty.
Now, uh, watching this stuff makes me want to go do this stuff. So, that's why we got Zach here. What's up, Zach? How you doing, man? He said his mic blew up, too, by the way. So, he said he was good. He said he's awesome, pretty awesome. Um, so, Zach, do you have any um, video game clans or anything like that that you're in? I'm going to go from step one and make... A design. We're going to start with Illustrator. That's what I like to tend to start with, especially if the logo is not already made. So we're going to start with that. Illustrator, we'll go through Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, and Cinema 4D. He's in a Call of Duty um, Modern Warfare 3 clan. Uh, he's in a, a guild, what do you call it? What's it called? Now, first step is you do your research. You figure out why all these wires are on the ground. That's the first part of research. Because you don't want to step on him. He doesn't know the name of the clan yet. But what would you what would you say it it represents? And he's typing this to me, by the way, you guys. Just want you guys out there to know. What would you say it represents? The game, kicking butt, right? Yeah, kicking some butt. Okay, let's just go ahead and pop some screen sharing up in this piece. Yeah, it might be just peeping out the corner, but don't worry about me. Worry about this stuff. Yeah, this is the light kit. Now he's talking about the game. Modern Warfare. So, first step, I would say, let's go look at some pictures. Pictures, kick, kicking butt, guns. I, I probably already have a few guns that I've modeled. Makes the job easier. It's always good to stack a repertoire and grow bigger and bigger in the things that you have. No, but it is good to just have... Uh, ample amount of things. Cause time is money, and it's all about getting the job done faster. So if you're bored, you don't have a job, or you don't have work at the time, go and model some stuff that is in the news. Trust me, go model some stuff that's in the news. I guarantee you're gonna use it. So now we're looking at what? What's, I mean, I'm looking in the wrong way. It's back here, isn't it? A bunch of uh, green and black <coughs> flares, guns. Dark, can't see their faces. These are things I'm looking at. Um, I'm just pointing out the obvious, and that's what you do. Just point out the obvious of what this is. Um, we don't know the name. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I, I was in a few clans of Metal Militia. Um, things I, things you like, Metal Militia. I was in the Metal. Um, what kind of things you into, Zach? That would that you just want to incorporate in the name? That would make it um, better. Like. Uh, so most of the time, what I do with uh, Minecraft, that's that's awesome. I used to play Minecraft a lot. That's that'd be that's gonna be simple because I've already modeled a bunch of Minecraft characters. I'll go ahead and show you that right now, real quick, and while I just pimp out all, all awkwardly in the scene, it's getting hot out here. <laughs> so this is Cinema 4D. Yeah, I'm jumping ahead, um, but this program right here is where you take a square. And you turn into anything, underwear. It don't matter. And yes, I did model a bunch of Minecraft stuff because I've been big into the game. And it's always good to save all your stuff, organize your stuff, keep your stuff in a good, clean pile. Mama said, "Clean your room," and she meant it. She meant it for a reason. She don't. She. I mean, she. Yeah, she wants that room clean. She don't want to step on a toy, but she don't. She wants you to be able to find the damn toys you're working with later on in life. <laughs> Minecraft boxes. Let's see. I'm just gonna. Go through some of this. Open up some of these things. Now, uh, there's also the uh, Call of Duty stuff. I like to go grab some images. Um, some, I, I like Google images. You don't use this stuff. This is copyrighted material. You don't use this stuff for anything professional. Remember that. I mean, seriously, remember that. Keep that in mind. Let me look you in the eye and tell you straight for. Do not just take some blatant work off someone else and say it's yours because that's that's theft. And your name is as is, is much as gold. It's heavier than gold, and it's worth more weight than gold. Your name is important. You don't want to get it stepped on. You step on your name when you steal someone's work and you get called out for it. But that doesn't mean you don't have to use this as reference because that's what I'm doing right now. I mean, look. Look at this stuff. Cool things that help me out. 
I always go to Google. Modern Warfare 3. You see any size? Large. I want big. I want to put big things. That's cool picture. Control click. That's cool picture. Control click. I like colors. Control click. And I'm just roaming around, finding some guns. Okay, let's look at these guns. Figure out what kind of guns. Hopefully, I already have some modeled similar. If not, then we could do it quick and simple. And you know, if you want, if you're bored, how about this? Go model a ton of guns. Use this image and just go duplicate it and remake it. I mean, look at that. You you ain't gonna mess with me. You see a bunch of guns like that? I'm gonna back my wall, right? Zach said, uh, uh. Well, actually, Zach's a hard butt. He's he's my warfare type. So okay, that's the type of gun. Let's make a folder called Zach, and that's that's what I do. Okay, now I'm not trying to throw my uh, ways of of working freelance client work, but I have a folder called client work. Next folder is called client's name. Next folder is called date, year, date, all that stuff, and then project. It's all about finding the stuff pretty fast. And making sure you know every asset you need is here. And I'm I'm not quite sure on this exactly what this gun is right at this point. There's gonna be times when you're working for a client, you don't even know what they're selling. But you have to figure it out. And I'm gonna start off by just saying, Oh and looking at the URL and maybe asking someone around me, you know what kind of gun this is, Zach? I know it's not a key 47 it's like a it's like a m16 of sorts so I'm gonna go m16 underscore of underscore sorts that's that so I'll remember next time I'll come back to this and uh, this gun I'm sure is written down somewhere that's the gun right here this uh, the scorpion or whatever right yeah scorpion well, it's kind of crazy, huh? Toasty! What Mortal Kombat reference? You get it? <coughs> nice. And I think this guy probably modeled it in the 3D program. Not too sure. He could have used, uh, you know, there's these little um, Unity. It's it's not, it's, you can put 3D stuff in there, but it's mostly made to make games and whatnot. And it's, it's kind of the cheating way of modeling stuff. But you know what? Hey, if you cheat... You get the job done and it looks just as good. More power to you. Why? Why not? But if you're stealing, that's another story. If, you, if you're just taking someone else's work and say, "Yep, I did that," <laughs> that's a different story. And I mean, everybody's their own person. So I'm not gonna say nothing to steal nothing. Shouldn't steal his candy from a candy store, man. So I'm just saving all these images. Just gonna go save them. I could look at them in a minute. I already had the uh, other stuff up. I could minimize this. I might want to come back to it a little bit later. I don't even know where I'm at right now. Let's back up and see. I'm in a dark room. A very dark room, huh? Okay, now see, this is literally like, like kind of a place. You have a grid, which is a floor. You can't see much right now because, let's see, maybe because there's no lights in there. Yes, I would say that's probably the right reason. So you can literally come to here, light, boom, grab a light, and, and it does nothing. Try not bright. Oh, you know what? A lot of my blocks are, are gone. That's why. All these blocks are gone. <laughs> it's just that they can't find the files. I'm not going to even spend all my time because it's not no, it's just a bunch of blocks. All right, let's go to look. Let's go find a little Minecraft dude. Maybe you know what? Matter of fact, I've even made something exactly what you're you're asking for, <laughs> and I'll show you that. But I'm not gonna make the same thing. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some Minecraft body. This is a Minecraft character I made. That sky material is gone. There's a little Minecraft dude. Hey man, what's going on? Beep 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 beep. Be. And you know, look at it. It's a box. It's a box. Another box. There's a box there and a box. There's boxes. That's all it is. Is boxes. And I rigged it up. I even um, used an espresso. Now that's just code. Just code to make it to where you can literally just take the character and move him around. I think I hit him somewhere because I don't even see him. Controls character. Okay, he's right here. If you select him and you select this, uh, nope, I didn't even put it on there. Awesome me, huh? You can rotate things in the body. Oh, baby, rotate it. Oh, baby, rotate it. I mean, you just don't have to. Ah, 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 I'm coming to make it 3D, baby. I'm doing it in 3D, and I'm crazy, yeah. I wiggle a little bit. Uh, I wiggle a lot, shit. Oh, no, 
na 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 uh, uh. I mean, I'm not, I didn't even do nothing that I needed to do, but I got to laugh out of myself, and I think Zach kind of pissed his pants a little. That's how, I mean, easy it is. You want this model? Contact me. You got my information. You all, I'm all over the net. Find me. Concept of Creation, Hangout Collab, Hangout Networks, Damien Lee Benoit, 337 Studios. You have Simon 4D, I'll give you this model. You can make a dance and make it have a, make a porno. Not nothing real. And you know what? Forget the things that I say because sometimes I say crazy stuff. And this might be already animated, but no, it's not. This one was one of the ones where I just literally took the character's pieces. <laughs> and that's kind of weird to say, but... This is before I really rigged them up right, where you can go take a joint to a woman. See, there's so many tools in this program, by the way. So many things. You can press a button here, and something comes up there, and you don't even know where it came from, and you don't know why or where. But look, you can press V. It makes a, a, a menu system all around you. But don't get intimidated. Don't do anything with nothing you don't know. Just start with what you want to know. That's... How it is, and see, okay, here's old dude again. What, what's this dude gonna do? I'm just looking for a regular dude that I could probably just pull together. And this is, might be him. Let's see. Or you know what? That first one might be him. Let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah, see, he's not as fluent. So let's look at uh, these words. <laughs> okay, so Minecraft boxes, Minecraft adventures. <coughs> yeah, this might be an animation. Play. Nope, yeah, might be, but it ain't. Oh, there's a little dude just sitting on that. And that's as easy as just taking a cube. Oh, no, this big old block is going to land on his head. That's another cool thing. And I know, I'm you're like, oh, man, I don't know where we're going. I don't know what to do. I just wanted to draw a picture. <laughs> don't worry, we'll get there. We're going to make this cool logo animation that's going to, Make everyone that watches his videos never want to play on his server again. <laughs> okay, boom. There's a big box. See, now there's perspective view, top view, front view, right view. And I just press the F keys just to get through there. Just to make it, it just makes it a little easier to find where you're trying to land. In. And you want top view, obviously, because you want him want it right over his head. Because this is what we want to do. We want to just throw it on top of his head. And bust him in the head. Um, simulations. There's the character up there in the layers. It's Photoshop. If you don't know Photoshop, that's your first step. Go learn Photoshop, and I'm going to show you why. And that's going to come up soon. We're going to go simulation and turn him into a collider object, meaning if something's falling, he's a collider object. If something's falling, it hits him, it collides. Yeah, that means uh, get up and go to work. Do a stinky leg. I don't know. I don't know why I do things. Do you, do you? Do anybody? All right. So you can do things like use the point tool, which allows you to literally manipulate this thing, clicking this selection tool using just points. You select it here, and you see the the these little uh, triangle things. This will affect two X, Y, and Z. It'll affect two different axes. The green is going to affect the uh, Z and the um, Y. I oh, can't okay, remember. See by going, it'll affect both of those. But it won't move but just those two. So you're always on a flat plane there. This up, obviously. But what we want to do is we just want to put make it look like that grass. And you can see the grass underneath has two textures. Well, three. Just plain dirt. Dirt with the grassy top. Then grass. You see dirt. Dirt with the grassy top and then grass you can see all that right here these are materials they're called materials and I made that cube but then I clicked C and I could back up I'm back up just to make sure y'all know that cube used to be a cube it was a baby cube one day I'll make this bigger you gotta see it man or put your glasses on something yeah well that's much bigger isn't it <laughs> not even all okay you, you I don't know who can and can't see the cube but there's a cube at the bottom right here, which if I hide it, it's obviously that bottom. There's Simon. Who, who named that guy that? Me, maybe. And then there's a cube at the top. If I press C, that converts it 
into um, a parametric object, and right now it's a poly polygonal object, and that's just basic shapes like these things. There's even a character man. And I just close this whole window. <laughs> Forget it. Minecraft man in the scene. It's always good to tease anyway, because I don't want to jump and show y'all exactly how awesome this thing is. This program, you, you could use this program to make things fly around, fall around, fly and do nothing. Okay, like this. Boom. Oh, that fell. Oh, God, I'm getting out of here. That's all that was. Let me get out the camera. As you can see, that there is a camera somewhere. If I turn on the filter to see camera, see all. Oops. And stop moving things. There's a light. A wall, grass, see the green, which is a camera, and there's a little dude who's walking, he's just doing his walk thing. If you go to your timeline, you can see the keyframes of all this stuff. See all the keyframes? So, if I stop it, <coughs> here we go. It's falling. I think I want to make it fall and hit him, but I'm not going to do that. I could. All I really need is one Minecraft dude or a Minecraft set of all kind of things. And I did this. I used to do this to get paid. Yeah, I made it. I made this whole thing not to not to get paid, but I did it because I liked it. And I didn't know I was to get paid until I got paid. Ooh, look at crazy clouds. So I have built all kind of Minecraft things in 3D. Jesus, yes, I did build. Be Jesus. Tried to put him on water. He didn't walk. Got it. He needed a cart, boat cart, whatever. Then I lost my blade. So see ya. Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure you might know who that guy is back there, right? Is that? No. Minecraft player, right? Not familiar. You need to see his chest. Come on, this dude. And see now, this is before rendering. If I Control R and begin the render process, it renders it to make it look good. And it looks better already. Just not great. Um, let's go down and see this right here. That thing took forever. Not really. It's just all these little squares. Huh. And you know I messed up my um, camera angle thing, so it's hard to get the camera angle set fast. You can see it. But shadows. This program calculates light bounce from, with the blink of an eye. Not really a blink of an eye. That may, matter of fact, uh, that one thing, I don't know if you've seen Zach, but that one animation I made, it's probably like 10, 15 seconds, and it's just walking through a bookstore and you run up to this TV. That took 48 hours to render. 48 hours of this. That's one frame. 15 seconds worth at 30 frames a second, that's a lot. I'm not a math kind of guy, but 30 times 15, 450. So if that took 33 seconds, which was not much, 4350 times what? Maybe like, let's say it took 3 minutes a frame. So that's 13,550. That's a lot. And this is with a fast 12 gigabyte RAM. Core i7 computer. This, my, um, this Cinema 4D stuff, stuff, it gets crazy. Let me say that. So we have Minecraft dudes dancing. We're just looking for something to be the quickest, easiest, animatable Minecraft character. Do you have a Minecraft skin, by the way, that you like? Zach, if you could name that skin, I could go grab it. I have arrows, all kind of different things if you would want that too. <coughs> a Minecraft character. Well, characters. No skin, no specific skin. You want default, huh? Default Minecraft guy so everyone knows, oh, that's Minecraft guy. Godzilla, he say. Godzilla it be. Now I'm going to just go pick the dude that was doing the sex dance because I don't know. Turn me on. Don't judge me. Guy in a city. I'm just opening up things. Oh yeah, this is a city that I decided to make a Minecraft guy, put him in there and try to get him to destroy it. It looks really nice in the end after the fact, but I'm not gonna even deal with rendering it. I could just run in and show it to you what it looks like. Uh Minecraft somewhere. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> 
so this is some render things in characters uh Minecraft. See that that's it. That's the final render of that. And you can see these are a bunch of different things that I made that re I rendered, you know, the final renders that came out. Some take longer than others. Made them from scratch, uh Muhammad Ali, guns and yo know, portal gun. Beautiful. I uh, just puzzle me and this that and that the other this that 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 oh tattoo that ass made that for a friend not too long ago that was kind of fun it's fun to just look at a, a thing in your hand and like try to model it sometimes it gets on your nerves and then you remember when I was he was showing his Xbox controller this is my uh, rendition of trying to do that Xbox controller and yeah I'm not great at it look at look at these mistakes. Who's gonna have this crazy pointy arrow right there? There's always some kind of mistakes. I put it right here too. But it's you may think it's hard. I made this. This is I was going to make it all animated and make something stupid. Maybe who knows again? I might. <coughs> so I think our best bet was that dude dancing sexy with a Godzilla, a Godzilla um, skin on. Right? Yep, that's the way to go. What is this? Skindex? been so long it's been a while since I played that goddamn game it's been a while but I still play it on my iPad man you know here's a few Godzilla masks hey, anyone in particular you like you know what I'd say is uh, one of these well shaded ones are pretty nice but no, nope, no word from you. I'm gonna pick. I do the Godzilla one. See, that looks nice. Download to Cheeto. I got a skin. And it's just typically, and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Matter of fact, skins when they come through with all these programs loaded, it looks all chopped up. Like, what is that? I don't know what that is, right? Well, it's just it's just like taking a piece of paper. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got a great example for you guys. Here, check this out. This is the best way to describe that. I mean, I'm gonna walk away with music. Okay, so paper, paper mache, paper characters, whatever. It's just like, like okay, he doesn't have a head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I killed him or someone did. Someone in this world killed this dude. But it's just paper, and it's wrapped around, taped up. You unwrap it, you untape it, and it's flat. And to get the textures you want, it's an image map. That's what it's basically called. That's what this thing is right here. That's an image map. Um, it's small, but if you if you could picture that there's lines there, you can tell that there's got to be some way to fold it, and it will end up being what it is. And I'll show you. Open up this old dude. Where's old dancing dude? Minecraft body. I <laughs> hope that's the dude. Yeah, that's the dude that was getting nasty. So if I went into body paint, <laughs> body paint, baby. And look for the grid. Man, body paint didn't change that. Or I must not have went to body paint the right way. Wow, I love new versions. I'm not gonna find everything so easily. It's my first rodeo, kids. Texture. There's a the texture. Okay, so this is him. If I were to just make a wizard of his body. The rigged character next. I mean, it's really just doing a wizard, colored alpha channel, bloom, blah, and it probably did a terrible job. And you probably can't see nothing. Okay, <laughs> that was wildly stupid. So you can see you can kind of draw on it, things like this, and it's in different areas. But that is that texture. That's not it, it at all. 
Oh, wait, wait, I've seen it. The UV mesh. There it is. Okay, you see the boxes. That's a messed up version from the wizard. But those boxes are, you know, pieces of him. If, you, if I were to erase it. <laughs> Not that. Oh, you can tell I know so much of what I'm doing at this current moment that it's shocking. Now it's all black. Now let's go change it to another color. Dang it, you do what I say, not what I do. And there's a way to make the brushes huge. And that's what she said. There, brush. Come on. A br brush that got some. Whatever, brushes hate you. So red. You can see the boxes, and this is uh, not, uh, not a good version of it. Let's go to get a lighter color, and I'll show you that if I color some red pressure. See all the different. Oh, uh, what the? <laughs> I'm gonna curse. Come on now. There. I'm supposed to be coloring red, it's not. But anyway, back to the dude. It's all red, and you can see there's certain areas that are like that. Now, I don't want to save them like that. Let's go back to them and just throw that one that's already made. Why not? That's not him. Get away from my face, dude. That's why he keeps creeping up. I think he likes us. <laughs> Alright. Sky's missing, yeah, whatever. <coughs> it's because we had a sky in here. And that's just a sky. Uh, we're in the wrong area. Let's go over to the window. To the d default window. And stop tripping on the crap. Alright. So we have the dude. We have a sky. We have controls. We have it all rigged out with a floor, even. If I were to render it, it would look nice. But first, here's the material. And right now, you can see if I flatten it out, it's the exact same thing. Weirdness that you don't want to understand. If I went and grabbed that Godzilla thing, didn't understand. This will make it understand. Be like, oh, I understand it. Boom. There we go. And it's just an image map. And I put them on there, a little bit of shadow underneath maybe. And there's old dude. No, there's different ways to render things too. Um, like we were showing realistic renders earlier. I don't know if you've seen the guitar or not, but um, it was amazing. You can go add to these renders and be an occlusion that gives that gives more um, shadow depth of, of um, like what is actually next to what else. I'm gonna go and make this a little bit bigger. And there's also something that's so render intensive. You don't even want to use it. It's called global illumination. It's the the way that it's it's the biggest math equation that this program can dish out that takes the longest amount of time, but looks the best in the end to calculate exactly how this light that's bouncing from one direction and hitting something is going to react and reflect and bounce off of another object. And like just to be kind of specific I guess let's put a piece of dirt in there there's dirt big like that I don't, I don't believe it and you don't have to go run around putting a bunch of pieces of dirt there's a thing called MoGraph motion graphics motion graphics is a, mo a motion graphics person that's me um, there's MoGraph stands for motion graphics it's not 3D but 3D and motion graphics are hand in hand you can go to cloner cloner object put the cube in a cloner object it disappears. Oh, where did it go, my little cloner? Make it a grid array. Array. Boom. There's a bunch of them. You don't need that many on this. Uh, not that one. One. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Six. Okay. Now look. Now we made kind of like a, a pad in a way. Just another six. Let's focus on this for a second. And it's, oh, it's getting out of control. Oh. Perfect time, perfect day before figuring this out. Why it broke? All right, so boom. I didn't do it perfect, but there it is. Now that's just one cube. One cube 
in a cloner object. So if I edit that one cube with texture, and I can go and grab the textures that are in the Minecraft loop, the dirt, or how about just stone because it's the same thing all around. Make this thing faster. Time is money, my friend. Models, personal ones, Minecraft. And yeah, I did spend quite a lot of time cutting them out and screen capturing all kind of Minecraft textures. <coughs> all right, textures, textures, you say? Oh, these are characters. <laughs> these are the skins. Um, levels will blah 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 blah. Minecraft, Minecraft. It's in this texture store. Sometimes you lose your brain, sometimes you lose more. Who knows? That is what she said. <laughs> yeah, where's that mic when we need it? Come on, comic relief. Alright, Minecraft dude, show your face. Come on, where's the texture for this old dude? You can kill him. Items? Uh, there's items, but that's not working out right here. Oh, I kind of heard you. <laughs> Minecraft boxes. Okay, so what? Minecraft blocks, not boxes. Okay, see? I just made one specific. What would you like next to your Godzilla dude? <coughs> A chest? I mean, you could... You TNT, blow some stuff up. Or, nah, TNT, yeah, all right, cool. Now, just to show real quick, um, I mean, I did this exact, not this exact same thing, but so close to it that uh, again, I go over that old project, put a new texture on it. Another good thing about taking stuff, you can take what I'm about to show you and just open that project and put the skin on it. Can you just type something I it? This is you can go ahead and make cartoon. Alright, uh, if you can hold us a minute, uh, uh, hopefully. If you like this, And it's a war game thing with Minecraft characters. <laughs> See all, all the Minecraft? I did series of Minecraft. By the way, that's YouTube. That three three or DamianBenoit.com if you guys want to see that. And if you're interested in Minecraft uh, machinima stuff, I did a I did a whole series, Jesus and the Monster, a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> Zach on the drum, by drums I mean keyboard drums, I mean you gotta work with what you gotta work with, if you wanna make it, then that right, so many videos, okay, December 4 these stuff, the next step, that's not it, <laughs> it's uh, Cali, <coughs> I hope this is a Minecraft dude riding in you, okay, so he has the logo. Logo comes in, it's spacey. Minecraft dude sit down. Screw that logo. Put him out on YouTube. And he takes off. Throwing a bunch of dirt everywhere. Episode one. And this is, you know, like you pick what you want and that's your show. Um so uh let's check out Zach's page. Pink pink's pink's a color. Could be changed though. I don't know, pink's favorite color, new rocket, man. Uh, I could maybe make something for you. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't have to be anything cool. I don't even have, I just have my name like screwed in green. You're my favorite color. It's all in the content, you know? Um, okay, so this is videos of things that are underage and passing out. <laughs> 
you. This is bloody fucking Minecraft. Oof. All you people like Minecraft, subscribe to my channel and I may be able to do some more. It is hard to do this. Okay, I want to do it. Uninstall every one of those damn toolbars. It's not doing you any good, really. Yeah. You have toolbars on your phone? That's bad. Or are you streaming from your phone to your computer? Um, yeah, these are checking play my friends. And... Oh, no way. Oh, 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 Work with that. I can work with that, and I can just copy that empty box. That's why I made this. So I can just take that and say, "Hey, I'm gonna put it in here." Where's my TNT? I want my TNT. There it is. TNT. He likes it. He wants to hold it. You wanna hold it? Here, hold it, buddy. Put your arms out. Come on. Don't worry. Don't. It does not blow up. Just you. You gonna calm your dude down? He, he's scared. He's a pussy. Come on, put it in your hand, open it up, bring them together, come on. I don't want you to drop it because you're going to blow everything up. We're trying to do a tutorial here. I can't tell I like Minecraft it can't much, can you? Uh, matter of fact, I've made Minecraft songs, even with my son. If I type Minecraft, I bet some of them would up. Yep, two, right there. Right. When I first started that game, I fell asleep. Minecraft. TNT. Boom. See, I switch angles. Gotta make sure it's touching. Spiders, creepers, zombies after me. Use the same thing to make a bunch of TNT. Over here, Q. Now let's take that off and start with it. Side by side. One. That. Top. Everyone. Minecraft. Jump into the song. I'm a dude, pass out. <laughs> you think I'm joking? Minecraft, stuck in my head. Minecraft, dream while I'm in a bed. Minecraft, building with blocks. Minecraft, baby, they gotta break up the rocks. Minecraft, roll to that land. Minecraft, fool you with a sick man. Minecraft, go to that. Land. You even gotta hate it. Drop the name. Far well, away, still not. Boom, not. Uh, bring this back, then oh my god, what did I do? TNT out the ass. Start it off my face. Even done uh, another video. Rich in Minecraft with my son. Gavin, Gavin. What's, up? what's up? You beat Minecraft? Eat Minecraft? Yeah. You can't beat Minecraft, can you? No. Guarantee if there was a way. How do you add this stuff? So we got games. Right? Yeah. Now, uh, Zach really wants to learn how to do this and this stuff. We got games. So he would like to give me his information out. We have to go in a second. We got game, so don't try to test me. On a first person shooter. So I'm gonna switch out. And I don't know why I'm cooking with food again at the moment. Not meaning to, but you know what? Food does sound pretty good. Uh, Zach, thank you for being on the show. 
Um, I like to have whoever wants to join on the show watch, ask questions. You have something to say? No. No. Okay. Well, he did have something to say. He wanted to. He wanted everybody to go check out his channel, which is a uh, channel I showed the pink one. It's uh, YouTube.com. Um, user.com slash user slash Zach Firth 95 Z A C F I R T H 95. Birthday, I suppose. Correct. Um, and he, now you said you want how to get better. Get better at, at what, so to speak? Um, nine, 3D, your video shoots on headshots. What do you want to do? Uh, you want to do everything the best, right? Everything you like, everything you want to do, you want to do it the best of your ability. That's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Well, um, you can give him a call. He said call 0401528137. That's 0401528137. And where is that located at? Not somewhere I know. But Located in, and like I'm gonna say that it's in Mer Merwilliamba. Merwilliamba. Yeah. Merwilliamba. Mer so call him up. Tell him, hey, this is not the right color, man. You're not supposed to be using pink on a man's website about or a young man's website about guns and Minecraft. And then tell him how to do better at the things he does. Constructive criticism. Don't just go at him. People don't go at him. You don't, you don't learn. They don't learn. Nobody learns anything from just hate. Purple, pink. Pink looks like purple to me. I'm, I'm just teasing you, though, man. Um, thank you for being on the show. We appreciate it. And anyone else that wants to join in on the show, look, Zach made it in, huh? Check him out. Zach, Minecraft playing. Uh, War Modern Warfare, the MW3 headshot, ass kicking, and I shouldn't be cursed. I don't even know your age. But thank you for being on the show. We'll see you sometime soon. Check us out. Uh, you could do C2C. That's C2C. Dot three three seven studios. Dot com to see all the co concept to creation episodes. I mean, it's not hard. You can go to Hangout Networks. Dot com. There's all the shows. But if you do C2C concept to creation. Dot three three seven studios. Dot com. It's all right there in your face. Every episode, how it happens, when it happens. Matter of fact, this one right now is up there, and you, you could watch it. There's old episodes, new episodes. Why wouldn't there be old episodes? I keep doing it. Click it up. You could see all the different things that we talk about. You could even watch us. Click it up. Live. You could see Live. all the different things that we talk about. You could even watch us. Click, click it up. Live. You could see Live. all the different. Yeah, and I mean it when I mean it. So y'all, thank y'all for uh, you know being part of the show. Show ain't over. I still got to do to throw this TNT too. So, but thank you for being part. He's got to take off. He's got a big day. I got a big day. I'm my, the episode's almost over. So, so everyone say bye to Zach. Don't be mean. Peace, Zach. All right, now it's me alone. All right, is it? No, I got viewers watching. Dang it! Now I have to perform. Okay, anybody uh, that doesn't know. Excuse my sickness. <laughs> That's not what I was gonna meant, meant to say, but if that doesn't know, you can chat with us right now and I'm reading the chat room. All you have to do is go to livechat.hangoutnetworks.com. I should put that up here somewhere, right? So you can read it, see it somehow. I don't know. It'd be easy to do it in Photoshop or something. Speaking of, I didn't even get too through or anything into what I was going to with all this stuff. Episodes always just go everywhere. But let's just uh let's just see if we can work through it. Since I was gonna tell you how to chat with us. Hey, little me again. What the hell is going on? I don't even know. We have this. Whatever it is, we're gonna just save it because I don't not save stuff because who knows you might want it. Minecraft body Godzilla. And then close it. We don't need it anymore. No more of that. Okay, that's Cinema 4D. This is VLC. And this is my MTV. This is my files. This is my wallpaper. And we start with Illustrator. 
all right, we have a company. We want to make a logo. We want to make it look cool. We want to make it spin. Let's do it really fast. Show you the basics. First step, concept. Figure out how am I going to make this look like something that nobody has to hear a word, hear a sound, and understand exactly what I'm trying to get across. What am I selling? What is this company selling? What is this company doing? That kind of situation. <coughs> and um. I in, in the comments, uh, dude, lose the hat and eat some food, stay off the crack. Thank you for the word of uh, wisdom. And, I mean, you didn't have to say it that many times. <laughs> but, you know what? Perseverance, that gets you somewhere. <laughs> okay, so, now, okay, modern warfare. We have these pictures. Or we had these pictures. They were somewhere in this computer, right? Did we organize well enough? Hopefully we did. Yep, by name, by picture. Now what do we see? Ah, we see the logo, obviously. I like the MW3, we see the like character guy. Let's take these two pictures and just drag them in. Off a whim. Now they're in a layer. These programs, Photoshop, Illustrator, they're layer based. There's a layer and a layer and a layer and a layer like a cake. There's some transparency between them, so if you have the top piece with transparency, you can see through to the next. You could non-destructively edit and move things around. That's exactly pretty much the basics of what these programs are. Really fun. You like to draw. This is something you should have. You can get trial versions. Don't think, oh, well, I don't got no money. Go and download a trial version. Quit being a baby. Learn these programs. If it's something you want to do with your life, do what you want to do with your life. Okay. Silhouetted type through. Let me scale this kind of down. You could be rough, as rough as it takes. You don't have to make nothing look amazing, amazing, because in time, it will grow. All your projects will grow, and sometimes you kind of have to let them go. <laughs> sometimes, what am I talking about? All the time. You're never finished with a design. You always have to let it go. So I'm going to go take the pen tool, P. P, yeah, yeah, P. No, I don't need to. I just did. But P, the pen tool. That's what it stands for. Shortcut keys are the most important thing in this book. You want to be a designer, you want to make money, time is money. You want to be fast, you got to get it done. Next job, make more money, time is money. So keyboard shortcuts would be the fastest thing for you to ever do. So I'm going to go P. <laughs> no, I just did. I'm going to lock this layer up and press P. Take no, I'm taking stroke off. There's settings all up here. I want a black color. And actually, I want a black line, not a black solid color. Or how about this? That's black. Let's go with a bright orange right now. Everything can be changed every minute. So I'm going to boom, 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 Click, 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 click. Click, and you can see what I'm doing. I'm just clicking around, tracing it like you did in using school. If you click and hold, you could make it curves. <coughs> it makes it easy. It makes things a lot easy. Err. No, I didn't just growl at you. I just finished my word. Man. Come on, music. Where you at? Where I need you. This is the perfect time to listen to some. Maybe not the... Uh, Song we were just listening to, but we listen to something. Come on, can't go without music. Music's in me. Maybe not crazy music. And hopefully this ain't crazy. Oh wait, you know what? Hopefully I'm not crazy. Not all of the time. So continuing along with this weird orange line. I don't know if you hear it, you don't really. So, you know what? I already know I'm spending too much time drawing, trying to make this look like the lines go where the lines need to go. That's something that I really right now don't need to do. Let's get some more voice. Get some more AC. That's actually the fan. Yeah, it's hard to figure. Hard to fake it. Boom, 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 boom. 
Remember, you mess up, you come back later. Make those things look better. Start rough. Do a rough draft. Rough draft, come back. Correct it. You ever heard that term, fix it in post? Fix it in post. Start rough, make it look somewhat like what it needs to be. Because you know what? You make it something for a client. Oh, I don't like it. Can you make something different? Well, you didn't spend four hours on that thing. You should have did a rough draft that took you 20 minutes and let, and said, do you like the direction? Saving you probably a lot of money because you don't want to just like charge a client so much money. And you think they're going to come back later if, oh man, he charged me $5,000 just for this flower. He, he, at first he started modeling the character and he made a taller bowl. Then he started with a modern warfare head. Just find out what the client wants and give them that. They can come back. In fact, their buddies come back, brothers, sisters, cousins, they'll come back. Not that they came before, but they'll come back after that first time. Next thing you'll be doing stuff for P. Diddy. I don't know why. He's a, he's a douche in a way, but hey, I am know he has money. What about Ozzy Osbourne? Want to make something for him? You can do whatever you put your mind to. All you got to do is start clicking those orange and yellow lines and tracing around. Now I'm holding alt, scrolling out, zoom, shortcut keys, man. You're not listening. I hear, I know, you, you just, you looked away. You can't look away. You got to listen to what I'm saying. This is very important stuff. It, I mean, you know, I was you. I'm, <laughs> oh, you young whippersnapper, I remember the day I was you, and I think, thought, yeah, whatever, shortcut keys. Actually, no, I was always a shortcut key person. Through all the ripples, straight lines. I don't want to spend that much time trying to make uh, something that I'm not really going to utilize. Holding space bar, moves the mouse. Moves the whole area. Alright. Yeah, anybody got allergy medicines? Out there, drop box it to me, by the way. I mean, I'm just a little fellow, you can tell. I don't need much. I'm sure you're fitting my drop box. Maybe Google Drive. I want to hear the birds again. It's a bad sign, man. Alright, gun. Yes. Music does come and make the job faster. Watch, I'll be finished. You already done it. So well. Jesus. Being sloppy, you don't need to be, and you shouldn't be sloppy on the projects. Rough drafts, another story. You know, let's look and see where we're at. That's a seed, it's not a cloud. You gotta make sure you know what you know what it is. If you don't know what it is, zoom out and look and see. Click, 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 click. So I'm just really tracing the guy with an orange. Color can be changed. I can make the inside color all black. And then make the outside not a color. And that's what I'm going to go with that. I would suggest on you see all the, see all the multitudes of colors that are around. I, would, I definitely would suggest possibly using those colors in this. Giving the more detail, the better it looks, the high quality it will be. And you know, the higher you can charge. If you could work, you can charge a good price. <coughs> Man, this is that dude talking to me about me stay off the crack. Zach's already back. What's up, Zach? I guess you know, I'll have something to say in the chat. So, okay, I traced the, the guy. I can go ahead and hide him. You can tell that, yep, there's a little trace. I don't like orange. Who does? I mean, you know what? I like orange. But black. That's, that is just, you know, scarier. You, if you've seen an orange guy come towards you, I don't know. You might, might think he's food. Eat it. Might be, be on basalt and try to eat his face. Alright, I didn't do his legs. I didn't see his legs. His legs were in the um, 
and his legs weren't even in the picture. But that doesn't matter. You can work with that, play with that, figure something out that might be cool with that. And I would say maybe what about the fact that there's that N W thing somewhere? But I'm pretty sure it is. What if I that you say it's get out of here? Still don't know the uh, name of the uh, clan, huh? Gotta uh, come up with a name here. He said his, uh, he said, um, I guess his gynecologist part was canceled. No? Confused? There with me? I got five minutes to finish this. Think I can accomplish that that feat? Five minutes to make this a 3D model that spins. He said, "No, you can't do nothing." Okay, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. That Call of Duty, you go out. What about something with the words on duty? You're already out. You're fighting. Modern Warfare 3. Flip uh. off a winning war? Won the war 3? Okay. Throwing out things. You can shake your head. Yeah, no. Uh. Not call of duty, not call of duty, but on duty. I don't know. Just took a duty in the port of John. <laughs> Words about mouth. That's how you supposed to let it go. Don't be afraid to say something stupid. Because next thing you can say something stupid, and everybody's gonna be like, "That's it. That's the name. Fucking duty." All right, you know what I was in the military. March of Duty, I don't know. Soldier. Wonder Duty? Wonder? Wonder, uh, Wounder? That's kind of like wound, as to what you spelled, but wonder, as in Stevie Wonder, and I'm wondering, yeah? You wondering? You wondering if you should go on duty? That what I'm hearing. Like, like you, what, you don't know if you should go and do it? I think you should be out there fighting. Grab your gun and shoot, man. T.I. would say, boy, get out there and shoot. You aren't even supposed to be on duty. You don't hear those guns shooting. So I'm just being the devil's advocate saying, hey, that's perfectly easy to pick on. Uh, <coughs> uh, doing your duty? <laughs> Win in the war. Okay, you know what? As you continue to think, I'm going to do the as a draw. The word. I trace it. Doing your duty, he says. Okay, doing your duty. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you some tricks. Let's go in Photoshop. We're not going to spend much time in Photoshop. We're going to bounce it around. Like this. We're going to go to this file. Picture of the duty. Now, what the font is that? What is that font, right? I just said what the font is that, and that's exactly what we're going to utilize to find out the font. This is CSS, by the way. It's going to be pretty sweet. CSS. Ooh, lots of new features that you can do when you use Photoshop and other stuff. Like, well, how is it? What the? What? This is me. Not like it. So we're cropping that. Duty. We're going to figure out using a website called What the Font. Knob, there's grunge, that's, that's a, the definition for it, I guess, grunge text, it's just stirring up.
stir it up, look like you just drug the words down a gravel road. It's easier to kind of figure it out what the word is without as much crunch towards it though. As a matter of fact, we can do the same thing with the white. Now I just use the bracket keys, hold shift to use the bracket keys, and I'll go ahead and uh, give you that fade, see, or hold shift and use the bracket key up, that give you hard, and yes, yeah, not dark, zero is dark, three is 30% faster, these are things that you should learn to know, it you faster, it makes you want to kiss, kiss more to ass. Easy thing to do here is just use this little bone, bone to pick a trace and fill that with that white. Once well, something that's going to pick up and try to carry out with this font is as quick as possible. So I'm going to try to use the tracing, I type the font, and you know, uh, he wants it to be uh, what? Doing, uh, doing your duty. Um, I don't have all the same exact letters, so I have to go and recreate and not want this one to go, but. See how that's just totally changed. If you don't see it. <coughs> Shit, I'm gonna make a phone call. Alright. Now we got a Kenneth Blackson joining. Hopefully, uh, he's interested in this stuff. What's up, Kenneth? How you doing, man? <coughs> What's going on, man? Uh, we're just right Keith, now. by the way. Huh? By the way, what? Keith. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I can't see you. No problem. <laughs> well, welcome to uh, our live uh, episode of Concept of Creation. Um, now, if you're interested in creative stuff, period, what we're doing is we're taking... He has a, this, uh, little, this guy, Zach, right here, has this little video game plan of friends. And he'd like a logo, maybe 3D, maybe a spin or whatnot, and I'm just pushing through that. We started the episode of today's show with a really great 3D modeler that if you are interested in that stuff, you can check it out. Um, you can check all that stuff out. That's his links right there. But go ahead and watch the show at hangoutnetworks.com. It's a cool show. I like it. I do it. Concept of creation. Concept of creation and designer's process. This is like uh, reality TV meets tutorial. I tell you, I don't exactly tell you what button to press. And then I get real small and tea tiny and you know, I start playing, see? Fun. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully yeah, say that. See what, that is fun? You want to you wanna come take the reins? Dude, I've been clicking around for way too long. Clicking my life away. We listening a little bit of... What's up? Oh, he said he's going to make some scrambled eggs and oatmeal for us all. Whoop, whoop. See, that's the kind of people that come in and hang out. Everybody in Facebook, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, uh, I've seen an it. advertisement. Yeah. Of this morning about uh, it's, no, it was a joke. It said, "What's the difference between people on Google Plus and people on Facebook?" And the punchline was about 700 points on SAT. Yep. That's about right. And I think I could come up with quite a few. What's the, what's the well, difference? Man. People on Facebook and people on Google Plus. A lot of people on Google Plus have real forms or make real money. I know there's a woman that I know that would probably not like to hear that. <laughs> not really. Okay, now, I'm destructively editing. I make a new layer because I don't want to destructively edit. Because I can dim that down and you go ahead and erase that. Or, easy to select in this layer, that black area. All this work just to try to get that, uh, figure out what this font is. By the way, I'm going to use a website called What the Font to figure out what this font is of Call of Duty. I'm sure you know I can Google it and be like, what's the Call of Duty font? 
but sometimes it's funner to show you guys the things that are out there that you probably never thought of. Or whatever. Duty fine. I'm just gonna name it whatever. Let's save. I don't wanna not save. Hey Damien, do you know anything about internet connections? Uh yeah, I am connected to one right now, thank Lord. Well, I was piggybacking internet for three years off this connection over here across the alley. Yeah. And I've I've, lo I've lost the connection. They moved or something. I don't know what happened. You ask me if you could. Anyhow, so now I'm now I'm connecting with my telephone via USB. I'm using uh, PDA Net. Hello. Yep. Oh. Uh, Anyhow. 3G. Yes, 3G, and uh, it's it's powerful enough to support the Hangouts, but only if I'm in there with like one or two people. Yeah, good luck with that. If I get that's an issue that you have to um, deal with until you get higher speed internet. There's not really much you can do about the speed internet. I mean, that's I understand. It's the the internet's powerful enough for me to run like this game that I play online, Need for Speed World Online. That's well, that's two different things. Oh, my cup over here. That's uh, there's already pre-rendered stuff all on your computer. This is all coming straight from the internet, video and audio live on the fly. So it's it's kind of a different monster in a way. The games, most of it are on your computer in general, you know. So see, there's the yeah, game. I understand. So I already got a bunch of information from the game on my machine. So you just tell it. Oh, that's a D. That's a U. T Y, dang it. Well, maybe you we should have actually separated two letters. You know, my connection is like 2.4 megs a second. 2.4 megabytes, megabits a second. Is that what you yes, 2.4 megs a second on my telephone. Yeah, that's that is pretty slow for a hangout, especially for a hangout. <laughs> That's not very yeah, that's what I you oh, see uh, is, uh, my video you? look choppy. Huh? Right now? Does my video look choppy? Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, do some waving on the door. Say hey. Uh, we gotta run back choppy? here and put this stuff in dirty clothes. Oh, he got scared. He said he come for crew chop chopping for us. He only does that for a hundred bucks. People on who go hang out, man. We don't play. We don't do nothing for no money. He said, 500 bucks, I'll spend two nunchucks in my hand, and then you tell me if it's choppy. But other than that, I don't care. Let me go wash my clothes and be done with you. All right, as I go ahead and do this over again. I'm doing it over again because the, the, two, the T and the Y work close together, and the program is not smart. Computers aren't as smart as we seem to think they are. So continue over again, and I also. Where you, where'd you drop? Say again. I took. I took the liberty of going and type it in. Uh, oh, what's the font? What's the font? So just in case that thing. What'd you say? Guys, I'm also full it. It's nice to meet you. <coughs> what you said again? I said I'm all split. It was nice to meet you guys. Oh, I I thought I think we met one time before. You came into my maybe my hangout collab music show. No. Maybe not. Only people. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Nobody but God. And I can't ask him. I'm not going to ask him that. I already got enough stuff I have to talk to him about. Hey, you got split. I'm going to split. All right, guys. All right, man. You take it easy. Thanks for coming in. Have a good evening. Day. Night, some whatever, actually day. <laughs> duty, okay, boom, see? Duty, 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 duty. There's all the versions of that kind of font. Duty, duty. Brim, brim. We can go see if we can get brim for free. Nine times out of ten, no. Actually, two times out of ten, no. Don't count.
Brim script. That's not it, but it's that's definitely not it either. It's probably Brim Bold. What is it? What did it say it was? Brim Akadidada Bold Black. Yeah. That's my way of saying whatever the hell that meant. Brim font. Bream font black. I don't think I'm gonna get it done in five minutes. Oh no. Deadline. Dang. <coughs> you give me extension on my deadline? No extension? Come on man, I'm working hard for you over here. So that's it. Uh uh, what what do we call in this thing? Um, doing your duty. You are. Yes, I do. Why would I not? Or I use anything else? Yep, I use Google Chrome. Yes, sir. Oh, those weren't the fonts either. They were too skinny. Doing your duty. Download. <laughs> Oh, well, I just got the okay that I got all the time I need. Brim font, and I hate when you have a program that's an executable file. I, I use this website, though, so I, I, I'm, I do trust in it. All this work just to take the zip file. Now, your fonts in Windows, they're in C Drive, Windows, fonts. Your fonts in Mac, they are in font book font utility program that you just search for in terminal I mean any, you just search for it's in utilities can't find it I don't need to tell you man learn these things maybe ask the question matter of fact you guys ask questions I'll answer them I'll make tutorials for them that's not here here not just to drink beer matter of fact I ain't even drinking a beer yet so what pro okay where was I at okay here we go so I seem to have maybe found the font. So let's see. I'm gonna name this silhouette for so silo for silhouette. Name this layer type. And let's go use the T type tool. T for type, right? Sometimes it makes sense these shortcut keys. Doing your duty. Ah, oh, that looks nothing like it. Well let's go find the font. Brim. Script is so wrong, so off. Then I just download the right one. Delete and close and everything. Wasting it. Okay, condensed. That's the one I've got. <coughs> Excuse me. It hates me. Okay, sometimes you have to restart the program. Most of the time you shit and you don't. This is one of those times that the program hates me. Music, please. Program. Logo. BW logo. That's the black and white original version. This is where you always start. Introduce, co introduce color later. Don't be so fast. Yo, you black and white. It's slowly. We're not gonna go in After Effects. We'll do a quick uh, 3D version of it, and end that on that. And thank you all that's watching right now live for watching. Um, if you don't know, there's the uh, chat room live chat. Got hangoutnetworks.com. It's just live chat. It's easy to spell. Got hangoutnetworks.com, and it's really just this the YouTube video video uh, comments. I'm reading it. I'll stop. Open that up again. Let's hope that our story is there. I see nothing. Lack of time since I do have to go to work, that's the main reason why I have to go. I'm gonna pick impact because I know it's a nice thick font that will do the job. 
This good job for you. Mom and daddy on and me, go get a job and go get out of my life. He's a plus. Now see, I don't like things that are the same size. Same size, long one. So I like this. You don't have to be me. Things like this. You can be you. You tell me if this looks good, and then be me, or you. Doing your duty. Hey. Okay, now, see, we want to disguise that he has a crooked up thing that we don't want to deal with. So we'll put a stroke, stroke it. Nope, we're not going to masturbate this thing. We're going to just put a stroke. This step one, step two, step three, four, five. I think he's getting down with that. Look at that. That's the most retarded dance I've seen in the last 10 minutes. Looking up, come. Now, multiple masks. Let's go ahead and lock everything out. As a matter of fact, that old original crap. Sometimes I even like to go a little further. Like, how about the. Doing your duty. Doing your could be another part. What's the feedback? That the start. E. Oh, what are you making me do over here? What if I flip this bottom? This is not close. I'm gonna make a duplicate of it. <coughs> the first one, you saw always there the first one, whatever the first thing I was doing is the best. Yeah, that's what happens. I always, I always muck it up and go make something else. It turns out shitty. Process. Don't text it. Way too much. Yeah. Okay, there. Yeah. 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 Okay, nice time. Speed run. Boom. 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 Duty. Take this first duty and bring it back. Go back to your home. Now, the reason he's doing that, by the way, is so I can manipulate each individual text file. Text element on their own. So I want a black with a white. Hmm. Yeah, exactly the same is not all that great. I like to manipulate. Always step back, look, check, see. Is it really what you want? Not you can't crumble this up and throw it in the trash, but you can press the delete key. I ain't gonna do it though. I ain't got time for that. 
How much you paying me for this? 18 cents? Shit. You get what you get. Alright, here we go. Last piece. Which is still mask his nutsack type area. We don't want nutsack in the film. The wholesome movie about a family of four. So you can literally lock this and take the points. One at a time. Just move them somewhere kind of here. Hide them, man. I'm serious. Get them out of here. And it's not bad to, hey, not, not hide them. See this right here? Bring that down so you can really show that, yeah, there's a white stroke around some of this stuff. Man, you just keep it going. Keep it rocking. His hand. I don't know. Maybe we can move it, man. Oops. Okay, that worked. So I'm just selecting the points and hoping that I get them all that I want selected to get a decent movement. And sometimes it's kind of tough to uh, see select the wrong points. The son of a B. Okay, start over. Select, select, select. Oops. Let's see, click, and that's uh, awesome. I'm not moving. I give up on that. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't have if if it was for work. You guys, you know all of you. That just ruined it all. I want that hand. I want to see that hand. So, I didn't ruin it all. All I got to do is unruin what I ruined. Move back. Move. Get out the way. There we go. And hopefully you understand what I'm doing. Just moving things around. So it doesn't look so stupidly obvious that he's a floating, broken man. He has no home and he cries and he's at war. And yes, he does still wet his bed, even if it's a cot. He joined the army. What do you expect? Sorry, I wasn't in the army. Uh, I'll hate on you. Uh, I got some good friends in the army. Now, important part. Okay, there it is. That's the that's the first step. Important part. Now let's make this 3D and go to work. Make money. I'm turning this into objects that are outlined. <coughs> 3D programs not gonna know what the hell to do with that other stuff. Now I'm making this a second version called the C4D version because it has to be in eight Illustrator eight format. If it isn't, then what are you doing? Backtrack and do it again. So I was gonna say. I'm going to save whoops, the original one. So I got, boom, the regular one, put it on a shirt, and I got the one that's about to pop out at you like it's 3D. It will start by saying, hey, we're making a movie out of this. What is our film resolution? Oh, we're going to shoot this all in HD. Oh, fuck, HD. That's not going to work. All right. So find our little area that we want. We can go ahead and put some ground on the ground. You ever heard of putting ground on the ground, man? I heard of grass on the ground. Or that ass on the ground. But Okay, merging what we just built right up in here. And that was in a whole different program. All of this is splines. All of this is lines. Lines, splines, what's the difference? All of this is a, a traced out spline thing that we could take and extrude. Push out, push in, move around, do it again, muck it up, make it nice, whatever. Boom. Oh, where to go? Press S, you find it. Now, change those coordinates so it's centered in your area. I guess yet again, we come back. Where to go? Select it, S, there we find it. Oh, it's got to be up some more. Whoa, that looks like it's starting to take some weird shape, huh? Okay, all the pieces belong. We want this back. That's that's dude. That's my friend's name. His name's dude. Oh, and see there, the G is stuck to it. Okay, so D U 
I like I like the name of the U T Y. I don't know. I don't know why. Don't ask me. D What? What'd you say? Like twenty dollars? Alright, I'm gonna extrude it and go because I gotta be at work in five minutes. Or shit. Or, okay now one issue this path has three different pieces together. That's something we should have avoided. But we didn't because we couldn't see it coming. It hit us in the face and now we're knocked out and we gotta stand back up and fix it. Subdivide it somehow. Uh we could break it apart. And that is I'm at a loss for it. It's being out the current state top and know what it's lost. And I get group. I'm lagging. Sorry. Just me. I'm lagging. <laughs> you know, but I'm trying to find my sense of currency. And I get group, man. So I thought it was C, 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 Senor. Okay, well, you know what? Old school way. Dots. Take this crap. There's always a way. Even if it's old school. So first, obviously, there's, there's the silhouette, there's the C, uh, the G, and the U. So we're gonna say that's the G. I say that's the U. Yeah, it's a good idea to kind of group things. Duty. Doing uh, your. Nope. A damn you program. You're doing and then silhouette. So you could like name crap. Always good. Silo duty. Doing in here. Now in silo there's always been nothing. So let's take this what we're just doing. Select it. Inverse that selection and delete those things. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, select. <coughs> Obviously, you see it's selected like that. The delete key makes it easy to get rid of the cheesy. Uh, hopefully. And I still see piece line. Okay, so there's the G. G's chilling. Now it's our time. Not our time, our time. Come on. What about you? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Can't think I messed that up. Missed that damn vote. Um, that is a line that I don't even know why is there. Okay, there's the R. The R was in it. Nope. Who broke my stuff? Alright, what I'm gonna do is backtrack because I got the R, I got this, I got that. The G. And that's not the G, that's the U. And that's the G, that's why. See, sometimes you confuse yourself, man. What are you confusing yourself on? It's me. I think it's because I'm, I'm shrunk down way down here to about this program. It's kind of, it's nerve wracking, man. It's kind of scary down here. Like all alone in this program. All right, so I'm gonna go and select the U stuff, the U stuff. Just that, but inverse that selection. And instead of deleting it, I'm gonna go object, current state to object. Now if I hide that, then that means that this is just that with some G with some G in it. 
You gotta put some G in it, man. Well, let's get that G out of it. As long as I can press that delete key, it's all right with me. How long does it take to make a freaking word? Okay, where's my regular G? Where's my G at, B? I'm deleting the whole world. I have a cool mind. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Current state to object. So this should be just the G. Back it up. That U is not just U. That it's not just a G. Solo. That is everything. That is wrong. It's awesome how wrong it can be. Let's see. Cut it out. No. Alright. G. That is nothing. Or it is a G actually. There's a bunch of U. Not you, me. Can you hear me, by the way? Am I still alive? Am I still out there? Actually, is there anybody out there? You know, damn, there's a lot of viewers. Thank you guys for watching. You see, I'm all crazy out in some green screen stuff. <laughs> um, you guys watching, y'all should say something in the chat. Close these things out. Because I'm about to have to walk out. And um, 337studios.com, I'll show you all, all the intros and uh, outros, animations, and whatnot in a, in a minute whenever I'm about to bounce. Cause yes, I do bounce. Well, yeah, we, we, well, eventually maybe for the right price. <laughs> um, okay, this don't want that. Confuse nothing with nothing. Okay, that's two different things. That's the G and the U. And then also, Silo. Yo. Let's bring Osillo back to his house. Now, this path can go. Oh, that did not work. Version is current state object. I'm looking for uh, sort of concern current state object expands segments. Wow, that was harder than nothing. Okay, there's my G. You sorry, I'm using new program, new version, and on 12 forever. Don't bother. So, G. What it be? You? No. Me. It's the worst joke you ever told, man. I'll never say it again. I'm tired. How can you ever be tired? Doing something so cool like this? I don't understand. Well, why would you ever want to spend your time doing something like this? Alright. Screw whatever the hell I just did. There's that. This, that's crap. This, that's everything but my dang G. Alright, I lost again. <laughs> G and U is stuck together. U, I want that U. Got my R. That path, fuck a dog. Alright, let's extrude this thing. Extruded, boom! It's 3D. Alright, right. is that still stuck together like that? Alright. Okay, now at least I know how I remember what my stuff said. Yes, sir. You. That's my you. Yo. I'm sticking to it. You. That's another silhouette. Do we all need? A G and an inch it. Alright, G. Silo. <laughs> it's almost silo. 
It's because I just don't want to spend time for spelling silhouette. If you're not familiar with what a silhouette is, it's just a shadow. It's just a outline image of some figure coming to shoot you in the head. Watch out. Your kill count's going down unless you can do something drastic. I want to just give a shout out to uh, some not real close friends of mine, but uh, Video Game High School. They're on YouTube. Go type in VGHS. VGHS Video Game High School. You none of you will be disappointed in the least bit. And did I lose my you? No, I didn't. And Laura. That's Video Game High School. You forgot already. I see. Go and get it. Well, damn. This is almost already ready for me. Pick a color, any color. I'll name a color or you die. Name a color or the kid gets it. And it's not a surprise present. Kids get something purple. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Morty. Doing duty. Yes, oh, you're this old man. He plays some do do do. He plays knick knack on my shoe. And I said, Bitch, what you doing? That's some brand new shoes. I hit him and said, I guess he's dead. I don't know. Actually, just go like that with it. <coughs> All right, take this stuff. Push it forward. We need some purple and some <laughs> black. Okay, really dark purple. Reflection. It's always good to have some reflection somewhere. You want to reflect something in the room. The more of reflection, the more real that thing might actually look. We also might probably want to cap some stuff up. Five three. And this is me typing and talking. Five three. Five three. And I use it all the time. See. Okay, what's up with my your? Mm, 40. How about 50? 40. It's all about matching it up. It's a love game. Love. That's all it is. You said purple, huh? Purple, purple, purple. Man, man. What kind of purple are you looking for? Is that right there? It's purple. Not for us, but too pink. Darker. Darker. Okay, that's it. Dark, right? Wait, that didn't even go dark. Alright, there we go. <coughs> Man, why would I have to be sick? time like this it's perfect all right last steps this is it and I'm out of here sorry thank you guys for watching this episode of concept to creations a designer's process and thank you all for doing y'all duty whatever duty that may be ended off with a camera shot whoops not that far out maybe uh Make this overhead what no this floor a little bit bigger. Take the camera shot, pull it back, take this out of the dang head. Cause we looking for some I don't know, some shine. Some purple heart, metal, I whatever. Here's a good trick. You got one light, you wanna make a sec 
that's the same light, just another area. Well, you know what symmetry is, right? This area and that area is right there next to each other. It's a symmetry. Let's do the symmetry now. If I put that light in there, I go say, hey, yo, light, do this. Copy. No, not that way. Copy and go that way. And it doesn't. Yeah. I guess I gotta move it. Oh, he's way over there. Like he wants to do something else. Where's the light? Symmetry object tolerance. And this dude's stuck way over there. Okay, here's another stupid trick. Okay, fine. He's stuck over there. We close it all up and delete. Now we got one object. <laughs> Back up one more time. Should have two of them. Take that second one and make it two. Oh, that one. Ah, I'm always doing this stupid thing. All right. Okay, I gotta move this back. That's what it is. Get out of my. Can't get you out of my head. Take that overhead softbox out of damn symmetry. Now delete it one more time. Like I said, do another one. Make it in the center B. Na 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 na. Okay, it's way up here. Don't need to be. It should be in the zero 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 position because that means things in the zero zero right there in the center. Throw that thing in there. If that thing don't come up right next to it, I'm kicking something's ass. Wow, really? Where is it at? Top one. See it there. Now, if you move just that, and then you move the whole thing, you can see you have light surrounding it. You don't want it crazy surrounding it. You know, having to turn those lights down, I'll tell you what. And you don't want those lights also to be. Messing up your scene by being seen by the camera or seen by the editor. So we're looking at rendering that thing out real fast. Yeah, how fast is that? That looks crappy. Very little by the light. You see some shadow. That's not bad. Never bad to see some shadow. But it'd be really cool to see some shadow if it's touching the ground. Um, I guess. Down, okay, guys. Four down is going, I guess. Down. <laughs> Listen, it's four down is going. Hopefully, you like this, man, because this is yours. And you're gonna have to use it for the rest of your life. Your whole life. You got your friends watching, because that's a lot of people watching right now. Make it smaller. Alright, we need light, so we'll go ahead and uh, find some light. We'll go use a reflection, uh, HDR skylight, which is really just taking realistic 3D panoramic view stuff for light to bounce off of. And that looks like fucking dog shit too. Kind of hard to see, but it is getting somewhere. Now I know I need a skylight. I need everything, man. Where's it all at? Um, a soft light would be nice. A linear skylight or a soft light. We'll, we'll see what's up. See, there's a soft light. How soft does that light look? <laughs> Distance bigger. Just a quick run test. It's gonna be obviously a lot brighter overall. Actually, I like to do the test like this. Hide it from the face while I'm still working. Excuse me. I'm going to go and lock this stuff together in the stage because I don't want to see it unless I have to. And take damn your and put it back. Too purple, man. Too purple. My taste. Four. When I'm saying that, I'm saying that. Yeah? You like that? 
Not enough darkness in this. Not enough darkness in the whole area. Take the skylight out. Totally. Like, say, bye. I didn't want to hang out with you anyway. Peace. If he doesn't understand the hint, then call the cops. Then your skylight, bye. Um, stop and make this first color black. Silhouettes don't tend to be purple. Purple's maybe close to purple. Or maybe a little more reflection. That purple, I don't know. I think you would have done better with a uh, uh, less curly purple. I mean, a more curly purple. Uh, oh, how about that purple? And make this bubblegum drop reflection. Reflection. <laughs> Doing your duty. Up every day, son. Same thing with this stuff. Uh, fill it caps. Let's go uh, eight five, and this is just literally bevels. Eight ten. That's back backwards crazy. How thick that is. So thick. Might me of something I know. Doing 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 the duty. Play these two. Up we go. Up. Up. Wake up. Little Susie, wake up. Okay, there. See, let's see. As that renders, I am walking away, washing my hands clean of it. Actually, you know what? I don't need no no light. We need no stinking light. We can go without the light. That overhead softbox uh, crap. Shit. Go to hell. Well, and you know what? First, let's see the floor. Let's see. As that's happening, throwing crap away. Like a big old long green screen. Mm, eh, yeah, not bad. Not great, not bad. I mean, you know what? Maybe some shiny metal, uh version of that might have done a real trick but hey do we have that much time no give me 1800 bucks I'll stay here all day making it look super pimp and you said you like purple right I do have a color a color purple <sighs> you're not moving it was damn dumb purple what about this purple Someone's leaving a room. That's what I heard. Um, purple, 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 and then rock, concrete, cracked concrete with some scratches. And these will be the last pieces of the render. This is what you will call home. <laughs> All right, we have your purple crap. Let's go boom, boom, and about. Freak out your <laughs> that looks stupid, but we might be able to salvage it with a double on Tondra. I'm mixing them, you know, R R one. Put some concrete on this dude's face, and then scratch him up like he's meant to be. You know, he fights. It's war. Everybody fights. <coughs> so we're going to end the show on that this is that final picture it's that one that makes you go boom crack the night all that stuff hopefully you don't bite don't get in a fight check out all the stuff that we do on, on the hangout networks um, check out all the stuff we do at hangout collab concept of creations all those different things we watch. check out all of our shows learn to cook Caribbean come on now why not in the authors there's more hangout collab lots more finger creations all kind of stuff Concept of creation, that's what you just watched, and I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, I, you don't have to watch another episode. It's not your cup of tea. I already know if you don't like it. Um, but if you did like it, you could see more episodes. A lot of them, all on HangoutNetworks.com. 
And if, I mean, really, you just think we went from one uh, crazy medium to to the next of, oh, my God, amazing, amazing, to uh, what is it? White nothing to this dude looking stupid with your flying in the air to maybe some grungier, rockier, and the final one that I still don't like. That's not a final product, but it's the end of the deadline, the end of the show. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate everyone who watched, everyone that joined in. Thanks, Don. Everyone check out Don's website. Just I. Digital Universe, Google it. He's on YouTube, he's all over the world. And you've been watching Concept to Creations. From the concept to the final creation. And I hope you like that final creation. Stay cool, you guys, but do not freeze. And by that I mean your internet connections, because I know you guys have shitty internet connections. Peace out. And for one last time, here's my demo reel of 337studios.com, by the way. Anything, everything, all the stuff that I do. Yeah, even my doo-doo, because I'm doing your duty. Later.